the fact is they don't live this every single day and you are you this is a part of your every day and you can't skip it you can't skip ahead hi there it's Brittany again um Britt Brat b-r-i-t-t-b-r-a-a-p on instagram and youtube i'm kind of wanting to do something a little bit different today i always thought that me doing youtube videos would mean me getting dolled up and having a script and really knowing what I want to say. But some things have happened today that I really want to just kind of talk about. I had therapy today. I had a big mental block during my therapy session. And I think it's just because I've been going through a lot recently as far as um, feeling depressed or whatnot. But I was talking to someone just a few minutes ago and she brought up a really good conversation and topic that I really wanted to kind of share my feelings with it. One thing I really want to talk about today is making friends and having friends in the motorcycle community. Before my accident, I would say I had quite a few friends in the motorcycle community um, locally and within the state. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, so uh, now that that's over, um, one thing I wanted to talk about today is having friends in the motorcycle community, where I stood on that and what happened after my accident. I would go out and I would join group rides and I would do whatever I could to, to get some socialization in, in the biker community. That's basically where I got my socialization in was on the bike and at work. So, so when the accident happened, I was stripped of both of those sources of socialization and it really sucked. I thought I had a lot of friends out there. I judged that based on how many people liked my Facebook post and my updates on Facebook. I started to notice that as time went on, less and less people seemed to care. Less and less people were commenting on it, were sharing co positive comments on the, my posts. And so I thought that they were forgetting about me. Um, I felt like there was no one out there for me. I felt like I let down myself and everyone else because I wasn't riding anymore. I felt like I had no friends in the biker community, that it was all fake. One specific friend helped me through this a lot more than pretty much anyone else besides my husband, but that's a different, different appreciation post. She was with me the day that I, I, I wrecked, although no one was, went with me down the mountain when it happened. She checked off of me from when I was in the hospital to well, almost weekly, if not daily, and I really, really appreciate her. And that's Jessica with Hot Mess Racing. Um, she's the best person like ever. But having that one person there, it, it uplifted me every time I saw her text, even though I, I wouldn't respond immediately or may, maybe I saw it and I didn't respond that day, responded two days later. I have a habit of doing that anyway, but... Having that one person there really, really meant a lot. And she was there the entire time. And even now, three months later, she's still asking me how I'm doing. This is my message to, you know, whoever's watching out there. If you have a friend who went down, if someone in your motorcycle community went down, you might not know them, but you might, you might be the one who makes them smile that day if you send them a message saying get well soon or that I'm thinking about you. Um, sending sending them a funny meme, um, you might be the one who, you know, makes a difference, however small, in that person's day as they're recovering because this shit's hard. It's really fucking hard. And if you're in recovery, if this happened yesterday or last week or last month and you're having these thoughts that no one is with you, that you didn't have any friends, whether you're right or not, you do. They're out there. They're there. The fact is they don't live this every single day and you are. Um, you, this is a part of your every day and you can't skip it. You can't skip ahead. No matter how hard you want to, you can't skip ahead 
to where you can write again, to where you can, you know, be a normal person again. So have a little bit of understanding for those friends out there. They don't know what to say, and frankly, they're it's, it's not there every day. Um, so understand that, but that should not stop you from reaching out to anyone um, and asking for help, asking for someone to talk to, or asking for some company. Um, I can't tell you how awesome it was to have company come here and visit me while I was while I couldn't get off the recliner, while I couldn't go anywhere, um, people came here, Jessica, <laughs> a few others, but I had friends come and visit me, and there is nothing better in the world than to get that. Yeah, I'm up in my feels now. If you're going through this, and if you went through this, or if you haven't reached this place yet but you just had your accident and it's coming the way you're feeling is completely valid and it's completely okay to feel that way just know that people are out there and are caring for you and there are people out there who do care about you and they do want to see you succeed they just don't live this every day they don't forget about you you're not forgotten they just don't live it like you do so that's it for this week, guys. I would really appreciate a subscribe, a like to this video, and um, share it to your friends and see if there's anyone else that um, might be going through this or anyone else who can relate to it. Um, really appreciate you watching. Have a good day. I thought my babies deserve some of the limelight as I almost trip over my bike. Oh, look at this sexy. You're cute. Yes, they are. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs>